Hello, Bulls has introduced a brand new high-performance e-racing bike for the 2025 model year, the Sonic Evo ENR. Before Eurobike, I had the exclusive opportunity to take a closer look at the bike, and I even had the chance to ride it. I would like to introduce it to you. Anyone who has been following the Bulls brand over the past few years knows that they introduced a Sonic as an e-racing bike two years ago. Back then, the whole thing was based on an existing Sonic platform where the maximum potential for e-racing was achieved. Now for 25, truly a specially developed platform, indeed, purely for racing. This means that this platform will certainly have nothing to do with the classic Sonic models you are familiar with. This is really about racing, about maximum performance, about a very sporty area. Visually, the platform is recognizable as new because the shock is no longer standing. It is now lying down. Let's quickly and briefly go through the bike's specifications and details, and then I'll go into each individual point in more detail. An e-racing platform, we have 170 millimeters at the front, 160 millimeters at the rear, the whole setup rolls on a mullet mix, 29 in the front, 27.5 in the rear. Full carbon frame, main and rear triangle are carbon. And then of course the frame has a few additional special features such as we have a geometry adjustment and a travel adjustment. As just mentioned, a carbon frame with a very slim silhouette, typically sonic with a very slim top tube, but the down tube is also kept slim with an in-tube battery. The whole thing runs on a Bosch CX motor indeed, the well-known 85 Newton meters. What is so special about this frame besides the very sporty geometry? As I mentioned at the beginning, let's start at the front of the bike. You know the 1.8 steerer from Bulls, which is the enlarged bearing at the steerer that is supposed to definitely bring more stiffness to the frame, but of course, also significantly improves the front appearance. Bulls has now expanded this to a 2.8 steerer, so the upper bearing cup also essentially has the 1.8 steerer, essentially. This is supposed to bring even more stiffness to the front end, which should definitely improve the appearance. And with all the integrated cable routing that we now have on all e-bikes, the cable routing here will also be made significantly easier. As we move further back along the top tube, these two screw points on the top tube immediately stand out. This is the previously mentioned geometry adjust. There are indeed three adjustment ranges. The neutral position has a 64 degree head angle. There is also a flatter setting and a steeper setting, depending on the race course or even your personal riding preferences. The whole thing works using an Allen key and Bulls has thought ahead by including a so-called power stage tool, which is magnetically and rotatably attached right here on the frame. And with this tool, you can easily adjust the geometry almost instantly in under a minute, right on the trail during a race, and efficiently. The maximum adjustment range now goes from 63.5 degrees to approximately 64.5 to 64.6 degrees in terms of the steering angle. But that is not the only adjustment feature on this new platform, as the travel can also be adjusted using a flip chip on the linkage. Here, you have the choice between 160 millimeters in the standard setting, or depending on the race progress and the uphill stage, you can switch to 145 millimeters. 
the entire kinematics have become 25% more progressive compared to the previous bike, which will certainly benefit the racer. In races, the battery often needs to be changed quickly. For this reason, Bulls has decided on a 45-degree battery removal, which you might be familiar with from the existing models. This also works with an Allen key, which is the tool you have here on the frame. It's really quick and works, as I've now tried it, really, really well indeed. In the series, however, you can also, if you wish, install a lock cylinder and effectively lock the battery. The frame will be available in two sizes or two lengths. You have a choice of 455 millimeters and 475 millimeters reach. Combined with the adjustment options you can make on the bike and the eight pins dropper that provides over 250 millimeters of travel, there should definitely be a suitable size for everyone. And of course, it should absolutely match their racing preferences. In racing situations, it can sometimes happen that you have hard motor impacts on rocks or routes. Here, Bulls has really thought ahead and implemented a forged aluminum skid plate that protects the motor. Cleverly, it also allows for a lot of cooling around the motor, ensuring that the motor can consistently deliver its full performance for a long time. Just a quick note on the important specifications. This is the Sonic ENR Team variant, which is the top model, and it's priced at 10,000 euros. There are in fact two models below this one, and this one is truly equipped for racing without any compromises. Absolutely indeed. We have a RockShox Ultimate suspension, consisting of the new SEP Ultimate and the Vivid Air Ultimate, a high-performance setup. We have Mavic ED Max Enduro rims, renowned for their durability and performance in the mullet mix. What immediately catches the eye is the new Rumble Cockpit, a handlebar stem unit, that I found not only visually very, very appealing, but also ergonomically exceptionally well suited for me. The shifting system also reaches the top shelf. SRAM XX Eagle transmission with a 10 to 52 range, which is currently the maximum available. The brakes are very interesting because until I got my hands on this bike, I didn't really know about these brakes. They are Magura brakes, but something completely new, something very powerful. Specifically designed for the topic of sporty e-biking and e-racing, with high performance in mind, is the Magura Gustav Pro. Gustav, a name some of you might recognize, were very powerful brakes. The brake is truly an anchor, yet it is still very, very finely adjustable. Indeed. For additional capacity, you naturally have the option to easily attach the Bosch power more with 250 watt-hours here, thereby effectively increasing your range even in racing use. Yes, that's the truly exclusive and brief introduction to this very super exciting new platform from Bulls. I've already taken it for a short ride, so I can definitely tell you this much. It's a very capable bike and it's incredibly fun. The geometry adjustment is extremely intuitive and user-friendly, even on the trail while you are using the small tool. You can really go all out with it. I'm now looking forward to an extensive test of this bike and will definitely be able to tell you more about it then. See you soon.